Hello for guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm having um local food. <laughs> it's a takeaway food, it's crunchy chicken, onion rings, mozzarella cheese, deep fried, and um I got some chicken here, but it's that um um the chili one. And I have um chips as well. And this is uh, um Okay, I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah. Blue cheese. This is a blue cheese sauce. And this is the sweet hickory sauce. Uh-huh. And the drink today is taro boba. Okay. So, just got a bit of sauce on my hand. So, I'm just going to do my prayer, guys. And then we'll start eating. Yeah, and guys, I got me some, um, like, just a little bowl of water. So if my hands get a bit sticky, at least I can just, you know, like, like, up a funnel. <laughs> okay. I'm going to start with these mozzarella cheese. I'm going to break it here. Let me show you guys. Bye. Mm. You know that? Mmm. 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 Not really my son, but it tastes good. Mm -hmm. How's everyone? Hope you guys are good. You sick them? Mm. The blue cheese is quite nice. I got I got this from um the shop out in Plumpton. It's called the Wingman. <laughs> mm. I didn't even know there was a Wingman um at Plumpton until I looked it up in Uber. I was didn't look it up in Uber. I was gonna order me some food for my mukbang, and then I saw it and I thought, ooh la la, yes. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, guys, um, Crunchy Wings, Crunchy Wings is now um, around Australia. Some has been around for quite a long time, and that's um, the Singer Wings. The Singer. Mm. Anyway, guys, but it's going to be around for ages. Yeah, Kelly. My dear, what my one? No, 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 I want you to do my court. Look how big the onion rings are. Mmm, cook now. Nice. Nice. Mmm, -hmm. So, if you want some of this, go to Plumpton Marketplace. Mm. <laughs> nice. You know, I don't have salad, but I have um, vegetable potato. <laughs> That's my plate for my bones. Mm -hmm. Not my bones, chicken bones. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give this um, 
I'm going to give this hot, spicy, um, tender a uh, go. Okay, guys. Bye. I'll dip it in this cheese. It's, um, yeah, it's blue cheese, guys. Yeah, have a bite. <laughs> Mmm, it's hot. It's hot, bro. Anyway, cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I love this one. I need a little Hope you guys are well. Mm -mm. Guess what, guys? I done a video with my husband yesterday, <laughs> and I don't know. It just cut out. And I try to um put it onto the laptop. It just wouldn't. I don't know. I've never done that before. And my husband had nice stories to tell on that video too. This is barbecue, hickory sweet barbecue. Mm -hmm. It just suits this one. <laughs> Mm. Oh, anyway, get it back to what I was saying. So, I think I've lost the footage for that. And what makes it worse is that my technician daughter, Geneva, she's over at Death Range Challenge House. Just slept over last night. These are nice. <laughs> Cheese. I watched some um, some videos of people out in the UK. They'll set they sell cooked food to the public in the market. So many people. And I see them selling fried cheese. I think, mm. Nice cheese. Mm. And this onion, it's a nice look. Oh. Mm. Count to five, you'll fall asleep. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I like this. This is the first time I order food from this place. The Ring Man. I don't know where they're located in Plumpton because this came from Uber Eats. Mm -mm. Anyway, my husband told some good stories. And now I have to tell him when he gets back on work, and I couldn't upload it. Mm -hmm. 
boy, it's fine. It's cool how um you can just order food these days and get it delivered to your door. Mm. You know, the other day, my poor mother was crying. Anyway, I was um, <laughs> I was just on my phone, and I could hear like um, someone going like that, and it was suddenly me and her in the sitting room. So I looked over. I mean. She was talking to herself, but crying. So I said to her, why are you crying? And she said, I want to go home. And I go, where? So I want to go back to Luffy Luffy. That's where she's from. And she said, I miss my dad. And I said, you miss your dad? She said, yeah, I want to go, I'll miss my dad. I was so sad. Because she was just crying like a child. Mm. So I said to her, just wait. When the borders open, I'll take you back to the river. <laughs> mm -hmm. Her dad has been passed, like, well, probably nearly 60 years. Mm. But with dementia, because I went to, um, to learn about dementia, they say that could, ha they say that could happen, you know? Like, they take themselves back to when they were a child. Because, um, when I went to do age care, there was this lady named Doris. She would, um, she would always say, um, I'm waiting for my mom. You know, my mom and dad left me here. So I don't know, maybe they, she thought that she got left at the school or something. But she's always um, always asking for her husband. She goes, when you wake her up for to have showers and that, she goes, where's my Barry? All the time. And because I'm just learning, yeah, because I was doing my um, my work experience. So when she said, where's my Barry? I thought. I don't know where your Barry is. <laughs> no, no, I don't even like Barry. No. I mean, the nurse came out of the bathroom because she had to go and turn the water on to make it warm. She said, oh, just tell her Barry will be back soon. So that's what we always did. No. She'll cry and say, I'm waiting for my mom to come pick me up. I'm waiting for my dad. Mm. So I done my age care in three different um, hospitals. I did one in Blue Mountains. I did one in Plumpton and I did one in um, Penrith. And you get to meet a lot of people. There was this um, lady up in um, the Blue Mountains. Um, she used to be a doctor. Mm. And then her son became a doctor, her 
her um her son and her daughter became doctors too. I thought cool. If you had pictures on the wall. All of her beautiful family. So when sometimes I'll pass by and she'll go, nurse. Okay, oh, I'm not a nurse, but okay. <laughs> I'll play nurse. So, nurse, so I'll go there. I want to have a little chat with her. And she'll tell me about her grandkids and stuff. I mean, she, um, she says to me, you want a chocolate? And I go, no, it's all right. So it's all right. She'll rub my hand. I'm not sure even trying to kiss my hand. Because I don't know her well, I just get by like, is she going to bite me? But no, she just wanted to... <laughs> kind of fine. She's just a lovey dovey sort. Mm. Anyway, so I heard my mum crying. That had never happened before. That she would cry for her parents. I don't worry about things like that because. One guy I worked with at the age here. No, I wish he never told me. He says, sometimes when old people talk about people that's already passed, that, I don't know, don't quote me on this, I might be even wrong, with you said, but when they start talking about people that's already passed, like, you know, they're getting ready. <laughs> The just the way she was really crying, really crying. Like tears were just dropping down. Like a child, like. I felt so sorry for her. And the only reason why I she stopped crying it's because I said to her when the borders open I'll take her. I'm not easy to take her anymore. I mean not really by myself because I've got to look after our suitcases, I've got to sign up the papers, I've got to do this, got that, and it's good to have another person. Mm. And that's the reason why I couldn't even attend my um, niece's wedding because I knew it was going to be difficult to take her. I mean, if she's going to cry again for her parents, I'm going to bother her. I'm going to really buy her. Like, I love these onion rings, guys. <laughs> I got one big eye and one small one. Just an emoji like that, you know, and then you just stick out your tongue. Because <laughs> mm. my husband kept asking me last night. Have you uploaded our video? Have you uploaded our video? Look, guys, thank you all so very, very much for the kind words that you leave for my husband. Guys, he loves it when I read him his comments. He would say, Is there any comments for me? Is there, uh, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> there any comments for me? Read me my comments. And I go, go away. No one wants to leave you any comment. And I go, oh? <laughs> well, you guys leave him a lot of comments. Thank you so much. I can tell my husband likes it. So I'm happy to read it to him. Sometimes when he reads us a comment, he say, read it again, read it again. 
So when Geneva comes back, if she can't upload that video, oh well. Sorry, tongue it up. You have to do it again. <laughs> yeah. Tongue it must have been a really naughty boy when he was little. Because he talks about his hiding he used to get. And they were with, like bad stuff hidings. <laughs> And, um, you know, his mum <coughs> had a loving mother. When when Tangaro sometimes used to get the worst hidings, she'll go and wear a cloth and um, pat off his bruises and stuff. And, you know, like, just give him a word of comfort. And she'll cry too, he tells me. And then um, she'll say to him, See, son? That's why you should listen to your dad. Mm -hmm. And I love the stories how he tells me about how his mum make do with what, what they have, like make them ulu chips. I don't know. I know we used to have a lot of ulus in Samoa, but I've never had ulu chips made by my mother or father or aunties ever. I only knew of taro chips when people started selling them, making them and selling them. Otherwise, mm, what Tangaro says, his mum used to make them um, kuru, it's called. We call it ulu, they call it kuru. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and um, he, he said that his mum would make him... Um, those chips, you know? And I think, where was my chips when I was a child? <laughs> yeah, but he said his favourite was Uru Papa. <laughs> Uru Papa. <laughs> and then it's funny when he says it, he goes, Papa. <laughs> I'll give him a Papa. <laughs> mm. Mm. I hear people. Mm. I was thinking, what's this, a burnt chip? No, it's an uh, onion. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, people are in Cook Island. Mm. Because I'm on their pages on Facebook, and I see them like, they're looking for food. Where where can I get no, uh, good meat for barbecue? And I was like, <laughs> Mate, can I get some good meat for barbecue? Yeah, that's that. Everywhere. Everywhere around the world, people have lost so much money. So much jobs, so much money, so much life over this blimmin' COVID. Horrible, horrible COVID. So for us that's got our lives and our health, praise God. Mm. <laughs> I put too many chips. Oh, actually in the movie when someone put two of these in the mouth on You know who I'm thinking could have done that? Ace Ventura. But no. It's not Ace Ventura. It's, um... Oh! oh sorry. If I shocked you. <laughs> I just remembered who it was. It was Mr. Bean. Yeah, I would have got him, Mr. Bean. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's such a funny man. Um, which one will be my... 
My favorite one of Mr. Bean is when he was trying to copy the the man next to him at school, and how whatever the man put out of his on the, I'd put on the desk, he wanted to batter it. The man puts out two pence, Mr. Bean will put out fifty. <laughs> All right, Mr. Bean. I don't know who comes up with those stuff, but very clever. Do you know, um, when I watched them do that, um, this is still that Mr. Bean's. <laughs> when I watched him eat that oysters, you know, when he was in the restaurant and he was trying to better a man. He was like, like a competitive person, eh? <laughs> but the oysters were off. And you know what? That put me off oysters for a while. Mm -hmm. I didn't eat it for ages. It looks like my husband and I will have to film again. And um, you know in that video? He made his goat curry especially for you guys. Oh. He was so proud of it too. He even said that he feels like it was the just nearly as good as the the curry that he's always been wanting. It looked really good too. I even was tempted to try it, but I don't like goat so. But it looks so good and it smells so nice. So I don't know if you nailed it because I didn't taste it. I didn't taste the first one. <laughs> so I don't know. So far, these are my favorite. The chicken's nice, that's very hot. So, <laughs> it's nice and tender though. No, inside is nice. It's nice and moist. Yeah, but it's very hot. Mmm. Mm. You know, guys, when I first got my um, my apple for fun in Samoa, my first one, I felt like I was a royal family or something. <laughs> no, I didn't even say to the kids, hey, hey, take it away. I'll take, I'll go wash my hands myself, you know? Because I felt like, that's only for the adults. Anyway, but I said to the kid, hey, hey, that's like we all prepare one night for the other side. Why come here? Fine, my look. I thought, um, excuse you, we're family. <laughs> it's always been for our elders. So what that boy trying to say? <laughs> I'm an elder. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get it. I didn't even know who he was, to tell you the truth. I know he's one of my nephews, but I don't know whose child it was. And In some way, especially when you come from a big family like mine in Lufuhi, with so many kids. We had a reunion like, um, I think two years ago. It was free. Mm, can't remember. But I tell you what, so many kids. It fills up a folly all. <laughs> and when you hear them sing, oh, oh, the harmony. The way they sing out so nice and loud. Isn't this sweet? Mm, beautiful. Well, mm, like I said, when God was giving out um, beautiful voices, 
I must have been in the, you know, in the bathroom or something, because I missed out. But some of my um, other cousins, beautiful. Even my nieces and nephews, oh, they were in line that day when beautiful voices were being dished up. Me, Wanaka, with a mole, my soul, little Mariah Carey. Oh, you so <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Maria, Maria. Looking out, <laughs> Okay, guys, this was delicious. I can guarantee you this. I'm going there again because these onion rings were the bomb. Diggity, dig, dig, dig. Mm. One time, my mom and I, we went looking because we wanted to go and look for cook garlo, cook luau, cook everything, you know. So, we're going through, we're going past some people. And um, and I thought, oh, yeah, there was a lady. She was looking at me and with those eyes like, oh, can you buy something, you know. So, I marked her, her clothing and everything. I just thought, okay, it's a lady with a red clothes. Top. I'll come back later and why but I want to go look around but I marked her what she was wearing so I can remember so I can go back and um, buy some stuff from her anyway we went down a bit we turned right and then this lady goes my lord and my mom started talking to her started talking to her like like they knew one another Layer of food was very nice and clean and it was nice so me thinking that my mom knows this lady, okay, I thought, okay, I'll support this lady. So I bought this, this, and this, and this. No no lie, my shopping went over to $100. But it was all right because to me, I, I'm helping. I'm helping, you know, you know. So when we walked away, I said to my mom, who's that? And she said, Oh, I don't know. She just said hello to me. And I said, oh, I thought she knew you from church or something, you know. She goes, Leo, I have to leave So I said, oi. And then um, my poor mum, she must have felt sorry for me, but it was all right to me. I wasn't even thinking about it. I didn't even know they do that. And then my mum goes, oh, yeah, you bought a lot of stuff from her shop. But you would have thought she would just chuck in a free little owl or something, you know, just like a mealofa, you know. And I go, Lee, hey, it's all right, you know. Anyway, so that was that. And um, so the next day, we went back shopping again. We went back. But this time, because I know I've already spent money with that lady, I avoided her. But I went back to this, this lady. She no longer has a red T-shirt, but a brown T-shirt now. Same lady. Same beautiful face lady. She had a brown face. Tearful. You know, it's funny. To this day, I still remember her face. I still remember her puffy cheese, her sangry eyes, and her whapaku. I still remember it. Can you believe that? Don't know why it still, you know, holds that thing in my mind. But anyway, so the next day, because I, I knew I wanted to go and support her. So this time I was with my cousin. My mum didn't come that time, but I knew I wanted to buy some stuff to take back to a village and <laughs> to share with all my family and that. So I bought some stuff for, from her, not as much as I spent with the first lady the day before. 
But I just bought, I think it was about $40, $50 worth of stuff. And you know what? She gave me a few extra stuff for free. And I was pushing it back. She was pushing it. She, was, she just got a, um, um, it was a, it's an old bag, <laughs> like a, a used bag. And she stuck some mangoes in and a couple of V's, I think. I don't know. I never got to eat it because it all went to the family. But I was pushing it back and forth. But she wouldn't, she wouldn't listen to me. She just gave me, so she gave me free, she gave me free uh, mangoes and two V's. So that was, that was nice. So that, that's what I'm saying. The lady that looked well off, that she had nice clothes, I'm telling you. It doesn't look like she, she lives in Samoa. Anyway, but these days, people, but I'm talking about way back in 1988. <laughs> I'm talking about 1988. This is how far, far, and people were still kind of wearing like old clothes. But these days, 2020 and all that, people are dressing way better, you know. So mm, I love it. Samoa has improved in so many ways. Anyway, but the story is, that's what I mean about, you know, the people with less, when they give, they're giving with their heart. Because when people are, have less, right, you know, you you get the all ones that don't want to share. But most of them, they do want to share. It's funny. People with more, they want to be greedy, you know. They don't really want to share. But people with less, they're happy to see you. They're very welcoming and they give. And you see them give with smiles, with like, and they even say, ah, come back, you know, welcome back. You can... That's so nice, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, the other one. Now it's time to go. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Thank you for having some food with me and this bubble drink. And okay, guys. Hey, out of my mom and I had the nice voice. Or if you're best, say you're a little more cool. A leo long a leo pe or a little leo. Yes, well, you are. Okay, bye, guys. You all take care. Take care, love each other, and God bless.